This week, Cabinet or Parliament approved a draft bill to change the rent laws in Ghana, especially for how landlords charge like over one year, two years rent advance in Ghana. This is very interesting because this law, which was initially passed close to 60 years ago, to be precise, 59 years ago, has not been changed ever since. And since then, population has increased, doubled, tripled in Ghana. And apart from that, people have money to change how they collect rent. Some landlords even collect as high as five years rent advance. And so in this video, we are going to look at the new law. We are going to look at it from the landlord's perspective as well as from the tenant's perspective because we are not going to do any biased conversations over here. And then also we are going to see what people are saying about this new rent law on social media. Now, before we even continue, I want you to comment below. Are you a landlord or are you a tenant or have you ever been a landlord or a tenant how was the experience and then also comment below the craziest story you have heard about rent in the comments below and in which country that happened okay so reading this news article from ghana web that you can see on your screen the title says cabinet approves draft rent bill expected soon in parliament by asen subwachi now if you don't know asen subwachi is the minister for works and housing in ghana right and the story says cabinet at its last meeting held on 27th October 2022 gave approval for the draft rent bill 2022 and recommended the same for the consideration of parliament right and he disclosed that it is expected that soon parliament will also commence its engagements on the bill the existing rent law he indicated was passed by parliament 59 years ago and therefore its relevance has been outlived by the current population growth and urbanization housing availability rent rates, housing redistribution, and eviction controls, among several other attendant difficulties that have engulfed the housing sector. The review, the minister said, is intended to safeguard the rights of the vulnerable tenants who have been outpriced by the uncontrollable hikes in the cost of renting accommodation. Additionally, the review seeks to remove inherent constraints and other incentives which will stimulate private sector blah blah blah. He further reviewed that the bill provides that a landlord who demands the payment of rent in advance for more than one month in a monthly tenancy or a tenancy which is shorter than one month or more than one year in a year tenancy which exceeds one year commits an offense clearly identified in the bill and then he implored that all well-meaning Ghanaians should take particular interest in the review engagements and contribute to their adoption now he said you can send your views and expectations to your respective members of parliament as the house is about to consider the draft bill this is very very interesting so he is looking at it from the perspective of the tenants right because in Ghana like I said some landlords charge as high as five years rent advance some 10 years rent advance some tenants prefer that way because if they pay two to five years rent advance they know they don't have to worry about accommodation for the next two to five years within that period they can be building etc but for others it's very very difficult to get especially considering the high rate of rent in ghana especially particularly specifically in accra accra is crazy in accra a single room will cost you anywhere from 300 to 700 ghana cities a single room one room with maybe a small hall and you might even share the toilet and the bathroom with other tenants right if you want like a two bedroom house in accra today you are going to pay anywhere between 700 to 2000 ghana cities which is not finished right you just came to meet the empty room no chairs no tv no air conditions no light etc you're going to pay about 700 to 2000 ghana cities on average right there are some which go above that maybe some charge like 500 dollars some charge a thousand dollars some charge two thousand dollars but we are talking about like when you rent within the outskirts maybe from 10 to 15 kilometers from the central business district or from the airport that's how much you're going to pay if you want to rent somewhere like in the plush areas of town like cantonments laboni east legon they typically charge in dollars because most of the people who can afford are uh, people who are coming from other countries nigerians people from the diaspora uk us canada italy etc and so they typically charge in dollars and the average going price is like a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars a month right so just imagine you are paying even on average let's say you are paying a thousand dollars a month then you need to pay two years advance so in a year that's twelve thousand ghana cities so let's imagine you are paying a thousand ghana cities a month then it means that in a year you are paying twelve thousand ghana cities so if you need to pay two years advance you need to find 
find 24,000 Ghana cities. Most Ghanaians, average Ghanaians who are starting out in life, like they've completed university, they've completed their national service, cannot afford 24,000 Ghana cities at a go, right? And that's why many ladies would resort to getting sugar daddies and, you know, finding all manner of means to be able to survive. And the men are also trying to do all manner of dubious things. While some people will work hard and use all their money to pay rent. And so they will always be in debt, right? So when you look at it from the tenant's perspective, it's a really good law. But then the landlords are also complaining so much because currently we are facing an economic recession in Ghana where the inflation rate is about 70%, where the dollar rate has increased almost 100% from the start of the year till now. Fuel has almost tripled from the start of the year till now. And so if they look at the current living conditions, if the landlords are to charge every single month, it means that they are going to increase the rate every single month. Like the same way fuel prices go up like every week or every other weekend, cement prices and all the material prices go up like every week. Landlords, if they charge you maybe a thousand Ghana cities today, next month they are probably going to charge you like 1,500 Ghana cities or 2,000 Ghana cities. How sustainable is that as well? It's going to create a lot of conflict. I mean, there have been situations where even just minor fuel price increments of just like maybe 20 pesos or one city have resulted in chaos in transportation vehicles like commercial buses. And so if landlords now need to increase the prices, every single month it's going to be chaos there's not going to be any control though there's a rent control department in ghana anybody can charge whatever they want so this month you come i say it's a thousand ghana cities next time you might not have budgeted your salary might not have increased and how challenging is it going to be to the tenant to find even a new place to move within a month so people are reacting so much on social media and we are going to take some of their reactions and read them and show them on your screen and then we also want to know your personal thoughts in the comments below so sawa ami here on twitter twitter that cabinet has approved a new rent bill right and the first person said if you won't pay and the landlord says i don't want to rent to you again go and tell cabinet that they should get you a room government must provide alternatives before trying to impose rules on landlords i support the bill though it should even be on a monthly basis then somebody responded you want monthly basis and how many Ghanaians can afford monthly rent like 400 Ghana cities or 500 Ghana cities? The typical university first degree will be earning like 2,000 Ghana cities on average, right? And that's even optimistic. Some people earn 1,000 Ghana cities, some earn 1,500 Ghana cities. And so if the person is earning even 2,000 Ghana cities, straight from university, has a good first degree, working in a bank on a contract or whatever, that person is going to buy food, that person is going to pay transportation. Many a times, the food and transportation cost alone will wipe out your entire salary, right? Right? And then you also need to factor in 400 Ghana cities or 500 Ghana cities rent each and every month. The next person said, someone built his house and you want to tell the landlord what to do. You abandon national projects of affordable houses and you come and tell us this. Then somebody also responded, someone built his house. Are you aware if fire engulfs that building? Government has to come in and quench the fire. We all need each other. So it's very heated debate on social media. Somebody says, when you pay for two or more years, it saves you money. Imagine the landlord in increasing rent every six months. And then somebody responded, why should rent be increased annually by landlords whilst fuel or cement price hasn't been increased? Taking my head. This guy doesn't know what's happening <laughs> in this country. I doubt the person is in Ghana. Somebody also says, we the landlords there, we just they watch. Every year you will pay and I will take. If you can't, please walk out. And somebody says, don't worry yourself dear. Tenants will rent rooms in a good shape and vacate, leaving them in a mess. And they expect you to pluck money from trees to repair and prepare prepare the room for the next tenant. Somebody also says, has government considered the price of cement bag now? If you haven't watched our latest video on the prices of cement and other building materials, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But as at the time of recording this video, a bag of 42.5 R grade cement cost 95 Ghana cities. And then somebody responded to that and said, what has cement price got to do with rent fee? Then someone also says, <laughs> it won't even work. How many houses get approved permits prior to construction? Obviously, few. Hence, there's no accurate data to carry out the said law. Again, it is a seller's market. That is, government controlling the indiscipline within that space is close to impossible at the moment. Then somebody retorted and said, all oh, until a landlord gets reported. Then someone else said, hence, some will increase their price. They will take two months rent fee for a month. Government would need to regulate the prices too. Then somebody responded and said, until government regulates building material prices, there can't be any rent 
regulation. Then someone else says there are 12 houses in the apartment I'm staying in. Two out of the 12 are working at rent control, yet they pay two years advance. Don't pay and see. You build house before. And somebody said, way, way, way. So these are some of the comments on social media. I'm going to leave some also in the next one minute for you to read and also leave your own thoughts below. We want to hear from you, your experience as a landlord, your experience as a tenant. Now, let me share a personal story. I once witnessed a very dramatic confrontation between daughters and sons of the landlord and then the tenant because the landlord, you know, agreed on a one year deal with the tenant. But due to the way the tenant was behaving in the house, the landlord said, Hey, I can't rent this house to you any longer. I want you to move out. And the tenant said, No, I won't move out. I'm going to take you guys to court because I, you need to give me a minimum of one month or three months advance notice or something. And you haven't done so. And the daughters and sons of the landlord went to fight with this landlady. What do you think about that situation? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, turn on all notifications because we bring to you amazing insights, tips, interviews on building, buying, and renting in Ghana and Africa to help you make an informed decision before you make any purchase. Thanks, Bibri.